folks welcome back to another video today we're looking at question 13 18 lucky numbers in a matrix the way that we solve this problem is by iterating through all of the rows first figuring out what is the lowest element um in every given row and iterating through all of the columns to figure out which is the highest value in every given column and then once we have that we will be going through all of the elements to check if the given element matches uh, the lowest element that we've seen in that row and the highest element that, that we've seen in the column if yes we know that it is a lucky number and we add that to the returning list uh, it's relatively simple it's just uh, a lot of typing uh, so let's get started uh, let's create the resultant list let's call it result is equal to new array list um, the next couple of things we need is to get the number of rows that will be matrix of length and then int m this will be the number of columns matrix of zero dot length anytime we're trying to get the length uh, make sure the minimum um, length is at least one so since we know it will be at least one um, grabbing matrix of zero will, will not throw any error um right so let's figure out the lowest um lowest element in every column so let's do it lowest element uh element in column uh, sorry in row so we knew int of size n for int i equals zero i all the way up till n increment i um, and we would need a minimum, right? Um, and let's initialize this to integer dot max value actually. And the reason why we do this is because any value that is smaller than the max value <coughs> will be will be resetting the minimum, which is what we want. That's the reason we use that. Let's iterate through all of the columns now. J less than M increment j um what do we do next yeah so minimum is would be equal to mat dot min of what we've seen so far and the current element so that would be matrix of i of j and once we have found the minimum uh once we've iterated through all of the the columns for that given row we just set it so it'll be lowest element in row of i equals min let's do the same for the columns uh, it would just have to reverse a few things um, highest element in column and this will be of size m uh, yeah and this will not be min, this will be max. Actually, let's go through it line by line. Uh, we are not iterating through all of the, the rows first, we'll be iterating through all of the columns. So we switch this up, this becomes J, this becomes I, and here you set this to N, and instead of the max value, we set this uh, max value to be m the integer min value so that any value that's greater than a minimum value we will reset the value of max which is what we want um let's set this max max i think that's okay yeah okay so this will give us the this will keep a track of all of the lowest elements that we've seen in the given row and how we know that it's a given row is because we'll be using the index um of the place that it takes to be the lowest value for that particular uh, row. So the index of the element tells us which row, uh, which row's lowest value represents. Um, right, and the next thing that we need is a for loop that goes through all of the elements again. Let's do that we don't need the min uh let's extract the value because we'll be using it quite a few times so this would be int um 
current element to be equal to mm, matrix of i of j. So if the current element is equal to lowest element in draw of i, we can use i here because this is the same like variable names that we're using and we check the same for the columns so this will be a current element equals highest um, element and column the only thing we need to change here is the index and if this holds to be true that means it's uh, it holds both of these conditions true therefore it is um, a lucky element and you'll just add that to the result so it'll be result dot add yeah uh, current element and then in the end you just return the result yeah i think this is all we need let's try compiling this if the first few test cases are okay everything else is okay as well awesome so let's talk about the space and the time complexity of the entire solution the time complexity of the entire solution is n into n since we are iterating through all of the elements um, um, in the uh, 2d area multiple times and the space complexity of the entire solution is n plus m since we are using two additional data structures to keep a track of the min and the max elements um, awesome that's it for this problem if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video I'd really appreciate that it keeps me motivated to make more videos thanks so much and i'll see you folks